Hi there guys, and welcome to another Tracer 2020 video. Okay, right, what is this? <coughs> Not even an hour ago, something pops up on my newsfeed that says a 142 has been released by DTG. Cracking, I thought. Let's have a video of it while I've got time to do it. Let's get it out nice and quick as well. So how are we all? Right, this is the uh, DTG 142, which has just been released, uh, if you're watching this on the day of launch. Um, I've downloaded the manual. Not that it's massively huge. Uh, this is 1199 uh, So it is at the regular price of a uh, Steam DLC. A Steam uh, sold DTG DLC. Even if it's uh, through their own bits. Um, so for Scruffy Hair and everything, I've literally just got back off a bike ride, so I'm a bit sort of like, eh, I was going to have a shower first, but I thought, nah, come do a dirty video for you now. So we'll have a look around it. Uh, for, for first impressions are relatively relatively nice so far, so let's sort of get going. Let's hope the functionality is there, so there's a bit of DTG's downside. Also the sounds. Um, what have we got to compare this to so far is the AP Wagons 142, which is old, 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 very old. So this is probably a slightly welcome um, addition to the train sim catalogue, I suppose. So it's quite good. So good afternoon, driver. Welcome to the Class 142 Pacer. Once a bus, now a train. Not technically true. Uh, you'll be driving an all-stop service to Warrington Central. Do not be late. First task is to open the doors here at Manchester Oxford Road. Okay, so we're going to want some headlights on. Let's put them on ahead. We want some instrument panel lights on. We want some destination lights on. We have a signal buzzer. That's that's good. Oh, no compressor speed up. And you start stopping and the sander works. Okay. Right. Must keep on. Into neutral. No sound change for the windows. That's a bit weird in this day and age. Loving the maquette on the seats, though. That is very much bus maquette. I think I had about a billion school buses that had uh, that maquette on the seats. Do we dare have a look outside yet? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to pull away a bit first and see how it drives before I look outside. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull away and have a look around. Uh, pull away first. Then we'll have a look around. TPWS is in, even though this era shouldn't have TPWS, but hey, I'm not that fussed about that. So on this side you've got the second man side wiper controls. And windows that open. Pretty sure it started with no brakes on either, and my doors, I got the two buzzes before the doors had closed. That panel seems to be slightly well bottled, but nothing operat operatable? Operational. No real complaints about the modelling, actually, on the exterior. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. wonder if it's got the other doors. We'll need to see what... Actually, we can tell in the, in the manual. 
they could at least put the AWS delay. We know AP have been doing this for years. With DTG, you know that this is not correct. Should really look at the animation. Oh, I wonder. Do we have a few? Oh, we do with the old school bus seats as well. Ah, it sounds like pace of hell. Nice animation on there. So we have uh, DTG's usual sound disclaimer, which seems quite apparent for this. British Air 142 is a class of, uh, of class of Pacer diesel multiple unit trains used in England and Wales. 96 units were built by British Rail Engineering Limited, Derby Lane Works from 1985 and 1987. The development of the other class 141, which was introduced in 1984. The body is based on that used on the original Leyland National Bus and many fixtures and fittings of the bus can be found on each unit. Each unit has a seating capacity of any number between 102 and 121 passengers per two car set. In theory there should be 106 or 121 seats per unit. The same engine mechanical transmission we used in the class 141. Each car has a fuel capacity of 125 gallons. So it looks like we've only got the one door type which is the older sort of four leaf doors which is a bit of a Disappointing for eleven ninety nine. I'd have, I'd have expected maybe at least one modern one, or maybe they're doing it in two packs, which would be unlike DTG. I'm not convinced on the sounds. I can't work out if that's playing after that initial <laughs> like bit or not. No, so that, that literally is it. It's just a bit of a mismatch, isn't it? Because we've got like TPWS, we've got DRA, we've got four leaf doors. No GSMR. So it does make me think they're going to do something else with it. No DSD or DVD either. Increase, decrease power, load on low passengers, headlights, stop start, alerter, sander, cab light, not even calling it AWS. It's got a horn handbrake, couple money. It's very basic. Three scenarios, and that's it. It's very, very basic.
All frill, no knickers. I suppose it means that AP can just do an enhancement pack instead of having to do a complete rebuild of their 142, though. That's a bonus. Yeah, it just seems to lack a little bit of substance. I think we're just spoiled with driving AP stuff, especially with the way they do the transmissions and everything. It's, it looks nice. I've got no no issue with how it looks at all. Um, it's a bit mismatched inside, but again, that's decent. It's a bit sloppy. I mean, that only moving one way is... Old school. Oh, God, we're stopping here. Didn't help that I didn't have my keys on the right bit of the keyboard there, did it? We're not stopping here. It's a first look anyway. You're not here for the driving. You're not here for the driving. That's really kind of you. Right, it's going to kick us out because of course it's career. We'll have another look at one of the other scenarios that are involved. Oh no, it's not going to kick us out. It's going to let us carry on, is it? Carry on then. I suppose we should do one of the other ones, because there's a night one. We need to have a look and see what it looks like at night, don't we? Let's do that. Let's do that. So it was... This one, in the dark and the rain. I'll only do this for a minute or two. Dean Driver, it's a gloomy evening and passengers want to get home in the dry. There are several delays this evening due to wet conditions. As a result, you should expect to see yellow signals on your journey, mostly in the Liverpool area. You're booked to start one minute early to try to keep up to time as much as possible. This is me we're talking about here. I'm not good at keeping to time. So again, we have a train we... I don't, I don't know why I didn't even notice this. We have another 142 we can't put into day configuration. Oh, 
like the change in my cat there. this Sorry for that rude interruption. Doors do open in the passenger view, though. There was a phone call I had to take. I was expecting two phone calls today, and that was one of them. But they're going to ring me back, which is nice. Usually, if I get a phone call, I just leave it. But I needed that one. It was important. really say about a new baser? Did we need one? I, 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 I mean, I like pacers. I'm not one of these people that thinks that all pacers should, should burn in hell and rot and they're the worst thing on the rails. No, that's not me. Um, they filled a purpose, did it very, very well. Um, from an operator's point of view, from a passenger point of view, they're a bit marmite. You either love them or you hate them. Uh, considering this is an amalgamation of the high-speed freight vehicle, which actually started off the APT as well. Um, so if you want to look at it from that direction, well, this was the, the, the one where the Pacer program was one of the things that was a, a real BR success. Um, but did, did we... did we? There's no taillights or nothing on that 47 there. Did we need a new one? Yeah, I suppose we did. The one, the the AP one could have done with being overhauled. I won't lie. Do I wish it was slightly more detailed and a little bit more up to today's standard? Visually, it's nice, but it lacks functionality, big time. Like like like, it is incredibly basic. Something a pace is basic in the best of times, anyway. So it wouldn't have taken much to put, say, like compressor speed up working on it, or a different door variation, or I don't know, just some buttons to play with, something on the back panel, saloon lights, or something like that would have probably been quite nice to see. Um, so yeah, a bit all frills and no knickers, really. Do I recommend it? Yes, it's good. But if you if you if you like a pacer. Uh, it's a very decent exterior model, looks lovely, I've got no problems with the exterior model at all, uh, that's nice, it's nice, the cab itself is ni really nice to look at, again, length functionality, there's no excuse for having that, there really is not even the sound, but the fact that that lever doesn't move, let's hope that that's a bug that just isn't fixed, and that's why the, the horn sounds rubbish as well, um, <coughs> and that's going to be fixed and patched ASAP. Um, but yeah, we've tried every other button in here, haven't we? Blinds do work, that's, that's a nice touch. Windows open, but the sound doesn't change when the windows open. Destinations is what we haven't looked at. There's a destination display down here. Don't seem changeable with F7, F8. 
So I'm going to flick through the manual and see if we... have anything there. Handbrake, couple, horn, horn, instrument light, cab light, sander, alerter, engine start, stop, headlights, load, unload, increase, decrease power. Nothing about destinations in the manual, not even how to put them in in a scenario. So yeah, that is a bit weird. They look nice though, don't get me wrong. I'd like to see the, where the bulb would be behind them. I like it. I like it. I love the model. Passenger view's cool. Can we move about in the passenger view? Yeah, you can pick your sides. Doors open inside the passenger view as well. It's a nice little touch. Okay, yeah, I'm not sold by the functionality. I feel a little bit let down by the functionality of it. It, it does just seem at the moment that DTG are sort of throwing some, some bits out there. Uh, but, you know, it's a new pacer. People will absolutely love this. Um, cause a bit of controversy I, I, I imagine but yeah okay I'm going to call it a day there with this thing really so once again guys thanks ever so much for joining me please feel free to like share and subscribe head on over to alantonsim.com for all of your latest train sim payware freeware and subware needs head on over to twitch on a Sunday evening from 7pm and a Wednesday from 7pm also head on to the Facebook group uh, links are all in the description below once again guys thanks ever so much for joining me I'll catch you next time